Hi guys, this is Mike from Box.co.uk, um, from the printing, 3D printing team there. Um, we're going to be looking at the CR10S Pro today and unboxing all the bits and pieces that goes along with it. Well now that we've got everything unpacked and we've had a good look around what we've got, um, we've had a good look at the manual um, to see what you need to be doing. Um, the first sort of thing we need to be doing um, is, is to put the gantry on. Um, the gantry is used as connected by these M5 25mm bolts and the gantry is connected like so. The gantry we put over. What you'll need to do is you'll need to lean the product over the side of the desk to attach the bolts up through. So if you make sure the gantry is lined up, you can do that by visibly seeing. And there is also little slots for the extrusion to go into. They line up within a mill tolerance. So the difference on this machine to the other machines is all the cables are strewn all over the place, going to different different uh, motors, and now it's all in the ribbon cable. All right. So the machine will start up in Chinese, most likely. You might be, you might get a UK one. So to, to go into English, just the settings on the right there, down in the bottom. I'll flip to English. All right. Now we're going to attach a filament holder to the top of the gantry. If you squeeze the extruder at the back, there's a small spring and a lever. If you squeeze the lever, then you can push the filament right through. What you may have to do, depending on your printer, is that your gantry needs to be firm and it needs to roll across the gantry nice and smooth. And there should be no movement. This one has movement, so that we're going to change that. So we're going to go into the options, we're going to move, and we're going to set the Z axis, and move the Z axis up. So now we're going to make sure all three bearings will move the gantry if we move them on their own. To do this, there's an eccentric nut just behind the roller here. You need to tighten that nut so that the, so that the arm will move on the gantry nice and smoothly with no movement. So we have no play whatsoever. So the CR10S Pro comes with auto bed leveling, um, and that's great. Um, we're not going to use that initially. We're going to level the bed as it is manually, the old fashioned way, before we go to that. All right. So we go to leveling. The bed will centre itself. And if you make sure auto leveling is off, if we go to AUX leveling, now we're going to click on number two. This will bring it over to the start of the bed living process. Now continue. So you get a standard bit of copy paper and you unwind the screws until you get some resistance. Go around and do that all over. 